Hey everyone, it's Byron in Kelowna, your favorite Remax real estate agent. Today I'm at 3796 Wetton Road in West Kelowna. I'm going to swap the camera around here. I always make the noise with my face, even though the camera does it. All right, let's back off. This is a gorgeous 3,800 square foot, round numbers, luxury build here in West Kelowna. We're going to approach the front uh, door here. Ignore the sirens. They're not coming for me, I hope. We have a front deck and patio. Now, one of the nice things that you'll notice as we go through this home is the quality of construction. A lot of places are pretty standard construction. They are to code quote. This place is so far beyond and has so much attention to detail. You can tell that the person who lives here, uh, they designed it and it shows. We've got two by eight construction it's very solid. This is a luxury home. It's 4,800 square feet, round numbers, uh, only three bedrooms. And you'll see where we use the space. I shouldn't say we, I didn't have anything to do with building it, where they use the space. So as we come in from the door, we've got a little study here. One of the things that's awesome, I'm just gonna like point up at the ceiling here, is this recessed ceiling feature. I'm gonna get down so you can see it better. You can't really see, it really bugs me that Facebook Live will not use the widescreen camera. Grr. Anyway, so entryway, nice, wide, open space. We'll go to the living area first, but look at this, it's gorgeous. We'll hit that bathroom in a minute. All right, so we enter the, my brain wants to say grand room, grand room. Ah, you know what I mean. This is the living room, kitchen, great room, that's it. We have the fireplace insert, nice little cozy living space. Casual eating area. We do have a formal dining room here as well kitchen. Look at that cabinetry. We'll come back and we'll feature the kitchen in a moment. I'm just going to breeze through here and get out onto the back deck. Breakfast bar. All right, so we're going to move onto the back deck. I'm sorry, there's just so much to see here. I'm going to feel like we're rushing no matter what we do. So this deck is massive. We've got, I mean, that's, 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 that's like bigger than your typical condo deck right there. That's only one corner. Step back into the sun. You've got plenty of room for patio furniture. We have a hot tub. The deck wraps around. goes down the side of the house. Now I know I've mentioned it on the post. But we're on 0.6 of an acre here. This backyard is massive. That's G that's Gelatly Road down there. So there's a little bit of traffic noise outside, but the house is so well soundproofed you don't hear it at all when you're in it. And just down there you really can't see it in the video. You can't see it at all, but that's Gelatly Road. The beach is just right there. Let's see, can I point? The beach is just right there. Literally walking distance, five minutes to the beach. Um, as I mentioned, it's 0.6 of an acre. It's starting to come in nicely for spring. Everything's turning green. Your little gardening space in the back.
a little bit of a mountain view. All right, I'm sorry. I love, I love, I, it's a common thing with uh, my live open houses, but I spend way too much time on decks and views. And we have sound systems. We have outdoor speakers. One of the things that's really cool in this home is every room has speakers and its own volume control in the room. Okay, so we'll come back inside now. Back to the little living area. Comments are live. If you want to ask any questions, I'll do my best to answer them on stream. We have a nice gas range. Kenmore with a hood fan, of course. Now, one thing that I really like here, actually, before I get to that, we've got the breakfast bar raised and the kitchen counter area. But the one thing I really like here is the size of this pantry. So this is in a corner, so you can actually step in and there's two sides. And the other cool thing, motion sensor lighting. You see that? The light came on, I didn't touch a thing. Big pantry, lots of space for all of your non-perishable food items and kitchen appliances. Uh, they've got high-end appliances throughout in here. This is a Kenmore Elite oven. Microwave insert. Big double fridge. Again, Kenmore Elite. But big double fridge, lots of space. They've got their coffee machine off to the side. Ample, ample cabinet room here, cabinetry space. Gorgeous countertops. I love the coloring and the texture here. Yes, ample cabinet space around the corner. And then you've got, of course, down on the sides, you've got all your drawers around the, around the island here, around the other side. And... If you have a luxury home in Kelowna, you must have a wine rack. <laughs> All right, let's turn around. We're going to turn 180 degrees and we're going to go look into the formal dining room. I did mention that there's a casual eating area just off the kitchen there. So this is your formal dining room. We have enough room. They have a side table here where you could put uh, dishes of food to keep them from cluttering the table. And they have two gorgeous hutches. So you have plenty of space for all of your china. All right. So Coming back into the main living area, I'm going to wrap around here and we're going to have a look in the bathroom. This is a little powder room here with a separate bathroom area, again with the countertops. Lots of room, like you just don't get a sense of how much space you have in here. Hey, welcome. Thanks for joining me. Uh, the second bathroom here does have its own shower. Uh, again, comments are live. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to answer them on stream. And if I can't, I will reach out and contact you afterwards. So again, we've got 4,800 square feet roughly with three bedrooms. So we have lots of extra rooms. We had uh, that area that I called the studies we came in. And this they have as a sort of home theater room. We've got home theater chairs here. We do have access to the deck here. So this could also be like a, a, a different casual dining area if you like, or a coffee room, fireplace and TV. And again, with the really cool high ceilings 
but with that recessed framing. So we come around, we're going to turn right and we're going to check out the garage quickly. Closet, yay closet. And into the garage we go. Two car garage, lots of extra room. You can see they have extra room there on the other side of the truck. And you've got room for, they've got some racking here. If you want, you could write that into the offer. Just get them to leave it. Central vac, vacuum. And we're gonna go back up the stairs. Let's turn off the garage lights now so I don't forget to later. And no, that's not the right one. There we go, lights off. Okay, close the garage, lock it. And we're gonna come into the laundry room. And this is a laundry room. This isn't just a little closet where you have two, a washer and a dryer and space for ironing. This is a whole room with its own sink, plenty of cabinetry, tall ceilings. I don't know. I don't have a laundry room, so I like featuring laundry rooms. Again, with the Kenmore Elite washer and dryer. Dog bowl not included. And that brings us to the primary or master bedroom. We'll get that ensuite bathroom in a minute and the walk-in closet. The amount of space in each room, like these are, I don't wanna say cavernous, cavernous sounds empty, but there is so much space in here. You are not cramped at all. We have here a king size bed and two chests of drawers with space left over. What would you put in here? Yeah, there's a, there's a good one. Hey, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you're watching this video, how would you use this space? Because we have lots of room in this bedroom. And we're gonna sweep right coming out. We're just gonna check quickly in the walk-in closet. Come on, come on, come on, gimbal. Anyway, walk-in closet. Two sides, of course. Do, 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 do. Lots of room for all of your clothing. And on the other side, all your clothing and then some. Now, the ensuite bathroom is just, I was gonna say ridiculous. I'm gonna say amazing. Look at the size of this place. We have the raised tub in a tiled surround Enough room to lie down in. You even got a little cushion with a pillow there. Again, with all the space, look at all this room. Two giant sets of mirrors, all this cabinetry. I'm not gonna bother spinning around to showcase the toilet, but it is in its own little room there, so you can have some privacy. And this, this shower, this shower, okay, here we go. Look at the size of the shower. As we approach, you can see the rain head shower head, but where is the handheld in the main nozzle, you ask? Well, let's step into the shower and go around the corner. Again, I'll come through and do this in a widescreen angle with my dedicated camera because Facebook Live does not do it. I can't do this justice. This, this shower, it's its 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 own room. You step in and you go around the corner, like, Awesome, literally awesome. It inspires awe. All right, let's close the door. Hey, welcome, thank you for joining me. Um, if you've just joined the stream, the comments are live. You can ask me any questions, put some comments in the video. I will reach out. All right, we're gonna head downstairs now. This is all on the main floor. Uh, there's one floor, it's a main level entry. 
Then we go down into the basement. Here we go. As we go down, this is where you have another access to the outside. Space off to the side of the house here for RV parking. All this room. And check it out, they even have a trailer way down the end there on the bed. Lots of room. How many vehicles do you have? How many toys do you want to park in this place? You can fit them all. I'm opening up the suite. All right, let's continue downstairs. And we're going to go into the storage room now. Storage rooms, normally I don't spend too much time in. And again, you're not going to get full justice out of this without the widescreen camera. Facebook, if you're listening to me, and I know you listen, fix your live streaming app to access all the cameras on people's phones. They have currently in here an upright freezer, a small freezer, a fridge, lots of room with shelving. And you're never going to run out of hot water in here because we're going to peek around the uh, furnace to the double hot water tank. Yeah, two hot water tanks. All right. And doop -a doop -a doo we're going to come around this way. And... We are going to check quickly. There is a suite here. Hello. Just coming through for a quick showing. There's no one here, good. So this is an illegal suite. It is not legal. They don't have their own separate entrance, but you can see they've got their own bathroom. And we're just gonna make this very quick just for the privacy of the tenant here. Their own bathroom. Bedroom. That's a queen size bed with plenty of room here. And that's to get back out. It is a locking door. They have their own laundry. Again, I'm just rushing through this. Their own laundry. I'm gonna back out. refrigerator into their kitchen. Oh, actually that's not a refrigerator then. That is an upright freezer. Your tenant has an upright freezer. How about that? Because there's the fridge, range, lots of counter space, island, Dining area and little living room. Fireplaces running. TV in front of the library or bookshelving. It's a very nice one bedroom space. Now I'm just going to pick out uh, quickly. Do, 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 do. Tenant has a cat, have to be careful not to let her out. And here is your tenant's little deck patio area. And again, with the greenery and the half an acre, I'm going to poke back in quickly now, make sure the cat doesn't get out. I haven't seen the cat but I shall remain cat diligent. All right, so that is the tenant's suite. And we're going to disappear back out again. Oh, <laughs> that's not the door. That is uh, your tenant's storage and pantry, under stair storage. Very nice. I was not expecting that. Here we go, right door. All right, back out we go. And this 
those of you who know me. Hey, welcome. Thank you for uh, joining the stream. Uh, if you've just joined, again, comments are live. Feel free to ask me any questions. If you have any thoughts on the real estate market, pop them in there, whatever platform you're viewing this on. Uh, oh, hi, another one. Comments are live if you're just joining me. Feel free to ask any questions. Uh, or since we're uh, halfway through now, feel free to ask to see a different room or level if there's something you feel you've missed. So this is the downstairs living room, rec room, games room, whatever you want to call it. Those of you who know me know that I am a home theater nerd. And this, whoop, again, this, the, this proportions for the space here, this is a full-size couch. And look how much spare wall space you have on either side before you get to the shelving. To turn around, this would be my home theater. Like that is just begging for a projection screen. Lots of room for epic sized speakers. The person living here now, this is their son's suite. So this is their, not suite, but this, it's their son's space. He's got his own living room or home theater bathroom. It's a bathroom. That's another door to the tenants area. Do not open this door. Okay, I won't. And downstairs bedroom. Uh, we're going to poke around to the side again. Generous proportions and use of space. So much room. You won't know what to do with it all. Or maybe you will. Maybe you have a big house and you're looking for a bigger house to move into. And you've got stuff to fill all this space. I don't know. You tell me. All right, so that wraps it up. Uh, if anyone has any questions or any rooms that they would like to revisit, I'll be popping this video on YouTube before the end of the day. You can also view it again there. And we're gonna head back upstairs. I like to cook, so I usually end my videos in the kitchen. Now, I didn't double check this door to make sure it was locked. Let's make sure it's locked. Nope, not locked. Now it's locked. There we go. Alrighty, back up the stairs, back into the great room, and it is a great room. <laughs> oh, actually, while I'm here, you know I mentioned that every room has its own speakers. There's the kitchen, I'll just point them out quickly in here. So for example, in the kitchen, that's a speaker. There's another one over there. And you remember when I said each room has its own volume control? So we've got a huge bank of light switches and volume. Again, this is in each room. All right, so let me pop around here and I'm gonna get the kitchen in the background. We're gonna switch back to my hairy, hairy face. I need some more styling product in the beard. It's very foofy today. Foofy, is that a word? It is now. I'm Byron Armstrong at Remax Kelowna. Uh, this is 3796 Wetton Road. A luxury build, a uh, custom build from someone who knows who's in construction. Super solid, generous proportions. It is a great high-end home for those who are looking for a little extra when it comes to room and amenities. Hot tub on the deck, high-end appliances, lots of space. I'm Byron Armstrong at Remax Kelowna. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to message me on whatever platform you're seeing this on, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Um, give me a call, 778-821-0232 if you have any questions on this one, or if you have any questions on the real estate market in general. Do you wanna know what difference the federal budget is going to make, 
uh, Trudeau's banning foreign buyers nationally, what's going to happen? You, you can ask me anything you want. Anyway, this is Byron Armstrong, Remax Kelowna, Real Estate Together. See you in the next one. Oh, which reminds me, the next one is at 2 o'clock this afternoon. I have a luxury condo uh, on the Kelowna side of the lake with its own beachfront. Come check it out. See you then. All right, just getting some widescreen video here so I can edit it into the stream so you can get a better idea of how much space we have here. Look at this home. Th this area they've got set up as a home theater right now. This isn't what I was calling the home theater room downtown. Downtown? Downstairs. And I wanted to get these recessed ceiling blocks. Like, that's awesome. The attention to detail in the construction here. Sorry I couldn't do this on the live stream, but Facebook Live doesn't access the uh, wide-angle camera. So I'm just going to quickly again come back to this primary bedroom with the wide-angle camera. And again, all the space. <laughs> now the funny thing is with the wide-angle camera, you can't you capture it all, but it doesn't feel as big. So again, for perspective, king size bed, two sets of chest of drawers here, space left over. The other thing I said I was gonna get was the walk-in closet. Again, with the size, there's just so much room here. I'm just being quick with the wide angle walkthrough. And the other thing I wanted to get was that awe inspiring shower, this bathroom, massive, two sinks. Look at all that counter space. And the shower. Again, you walk into the shower and you go, oh, that's only a regular size shower. No, you go around the corner, literally. All right. And that's it. I'll edit this into the uh, YouTube video and we'll call it good.